going to take a blush at a 350 and I'm inflating that with the hand pump. We're not going to use all of it, so I'm just going to let a little bit of air out and then twist off a bubble of about four or five fingers and then twist off another bubble to match. Okay, and then twist those two bubbles together and we're just going to pass that knot and nozzle through and then we're going to snip off the end and I'm just tying those together and then I'm going to take this bit of excess here and just wrap it around the centre a few times and then just poke it through the middle. Okay, so that's what you've got. Then I'm using a pink 160 which I'm just going to inflate about halfway. So you're going to be tempted to inflate this um, much longer but about halfway is where you want to be. And again, with this design, if you can make a flower, if you can make a daisy flower, you can make this alpaca. So we're just going to make a small loop of a couple of fingers and just twist that and then take the knot and nozzle and pass it through the center because that's gonna help ensure that that's not going to come undone. And then we want to make another small loop of a similar sort of size. And when I've done my second loop, I just like to take that bit of excess there and wrap it around that second, second loop. It just helps to secure that. And we're just going to carry on making those small loops until we've used up all the balloon. So I make a third loop and just wrap them around one another. And these don't have to be uniform at all. Um, it, in fact, it looks better if they're, you know, slightly different sizes. So we're, yes, we're just making sort of the, the, the woolly part of the alpaca. Okay, so these are actually pretty quick to do. And all I'm doing is loops and just twisting everything around. So just carry on. Just twist and then just twist them around. So you're just making a real sort of mess of uh, loops. I'm at the end of my balloon, so I'm just going to snip off the end. Okay, I can probably get one more loop out of that, so I'm just going to tie that off and just take that end and wrap it in and around. And just lose it. In, in this this cluster of loops okay and you're going to need seven of these in total so make another six of these uh, next I'm taking a 160 pink and I'm just going to snip it in half and I'm going to take one of my clusters and just wrap the end into there okay and I'm going to take my head and I'm just going to wrap the cluster into the head and the other cluster as well. And the thing about this design is um, these always come out uh, looking different. So I've never managed to make an alpaca or a sheep that you know looks like um, the other one I've just made. So that's what it looks like at the moment. Next, take another cluster and wrap the 160 in and we're going to create the body just by combining clusters. Take another cluster and pull that 160 into this cluster, wrap around and back down because you want that cluster to be quite tightly connected together. And I'm going to go for another cluster. I'm going to use the rest of this 160 just to make sure everything is secured. Okay, I've got a little bit of 160 left, which I'm just going to hang on to. I like to give myself options when I'm creating. So if I've got a, a bit of an attachment point left. If I don't need it at the end, I'll just snip that off, but I will just keep it for the time being, just in case something unexpected happens and I suddenly decide that I need that, okay? 
So I'm going to take the head and pull back down into the body. at the moment. Take a little bit of pink 160. And fasten them together. You're wanting these clusters to kind of go loop around the head. So if you if you put them on separately you can then sort of judge, you know, how they, how they need to connect together and go around. If you do it in one, then you might just end up with sort of one section that's kind of sticking out a little bit. So this just gives you a bit more, a bit, a, a bit more flexibility, really. So I'm connecting this one. I'm just taking this section now and I'm going to pull it into the head here. and back through to this side and then pull this section around. Okay. So again, I'm just going to leave this little bit out here because I may want to attach this to the body, but I'm going to put this on the base and then see how it's locking. So five inch rounds in pink inflated to uh, four inches, so uh, three strokes of the hand pump. So just rounding those off and tying the two duplets together to form a cluster of four. Uh, then I'm just going to inflate with two strokes of the hand pump, so to three and a half inches. Again, just rounding off slightly, tying. So I'm just going to put these together, take one of the necks and nozzles, pull them through and just connect the two together. Okay. So that's the base. I pre-make a lot of my sand weights. So this is actually one that I pre-made uh, for another job. I don't need purple, so the purple, if I put it in the base here, you're likely going to be able to see it um, you know, through the pink, which I don't want. But I don't want to unmake it, so I'm just going to take an 11 inch round and snip off the neck, and then just open up the neck, put that inside, and We've got a pink weight, so there's only that little bit of purple now um, to show. So that can go in there. And you can do that with um, some of the bought weights as well. If you've got the pyramid weights, um, you can change and colour match those that way, which, you know, if you're in a pinch, um, it's quite handy. So we've got a sturdy base there. So inflating to a tail of four fingers, maybe. Probably not going to use all of this softening slightly and tying. Okay. And then I'm going to connect this to the alpaca's body just by wrapping into those clusters. I decide how long I want the legs to be. And then wrap that join in directly to your base. And then I'm going to go over to this side of the alpaca, try and make a leg that is approximately the same length, and then again wrap into the base, into the body. So again, this is a very um, forgiving design. So how's she looking? Okay, make another leg to match this one. Just soften the glue if you need to. And wrap that into the base. 
and then make a fourth leg. And you wrap that into the body. Okay. And with what's left, we can just make a little loop and make a tail. So just twist as we did before. And wrap that into the clusters. And snip off here. Uh, I am going to take this little tail here and now connect that side of the head to the body. Okay, and that's just lifted this side slightly. So I'm going to now take that little extra attachment point that I left. I'm going to snip off the end and I'm going to use that just to pull into the, um, the side of the head. Let's see how she's looking now. Very squeaky. Just going to do some little eyelashes. Just a little dot in each eye. What self-respecting alpaca doesn't use blusher? So there's, um, there's our alpaca.